Hey guys, what's up? It's Riley, and this video is to say that I've been on YouTube for five years now. So I thought I would do what's changed within that five years of me being on YouTube and me starting my transition. So let's start from the beginning. So I made this channel after coming out. I came out on Trans Day of Visibility in 2015. So yeah, that I didn't even know it was Trans Day of Visibility when I came out, but I apparently came out on Trans Day of Visibility. So I made myself very visible and come out to my family. So starting from there, um, obviously I went through the whole process of telling all my family, all my friends, and I mean, some were more accepting than others, but you know, that's the big thing that's changed is a lot more people are more accepting of who I am now than they were before, and five years is a long time to get over something and embrace things. So between 16 and 18, like years old for me was like the hardest time. So that was when I was coming out as trans and just in general didn't know what to do. I had a job at the time um, working in Primark and it was just iffy years and yeah so it wasn't the nicest you know the nicest couple of years of my life they were quite low years of my life but things have changed things have definitely changed. So when I was 18 I started my current job I did work at a different pub beforehand but my pub got closed but I still work for Weatherspoons. I've been in this job since I was 18 and you know like I started in December of 2016 um, after turning 18 so I like in that time you know because I've made videos about starting a new job and new job nerves was the title of the video um, if you want to see how I felt you know the interview process and you know, just in that frame of time, like, you'll see who I was then. And that's crazy about these five years of being on here. You see the different types of me. And I've completely changed since first making, like, not completely changed, but I've changed quite a bit since making my first video. I, so getting back onto the topic of my job, being in a bar and working on a bar, um, and just in hospitality in general, it's given me a whole level of confidence I never had before. So that that's always good. That that's like the biggest part of my journey that I didn't have any confidence beforehand. A 17 to 18 year old life, I was at a youth group at the Lowdown. Really good. Like I really enjoyed it. I met a lot of trans people there. A lot of just LGBT plus people. I hadn't met anyone that was trans before or so it was really nice to get to learn you know my community a lot better and in that time I explored a lot within myself and that really you know like highlighted a lot of things for me and it got me to a place where you know I had all that knowledge I still wasn't confident enough then but then things changed when I got my job and I just got talking to more people and people just I, you don't realize how much people don't actually care about you being trans because it's one of those things you go through your head and you're like oh my god everyone's gonna think this I've learned over these five years is that isn't the thing holding me back it's myself holding me back because I think other people you know don't accept me and people are gonna think these things and those things and that was like a big part of thank god I got the confidence now to move on and just see you know see things from a different perspective now just before I was 18, I also got into a long-term relationship that was, you know, it it is what it is. Um, it went on for just under three years. Um, I wouldn't take any of it back, to be honest. I wouldn't. Um, just just didn't work out in the end, and, you know, that that's how life is. It was better because I was, in the last year of the relationship, I was a lot, a lot of the time I just wanted to you know, hide away, I wasn't, like, ready. Also, just, like, in a state of actually discovering who I was as an adult. It's fine discovering who you are as a teenager, but as an adult, it's, like, a whole other ball game. So I needed to find out who I was at that time. So I kind of just found myself at a point where I was like, I, if I can't love myself, then I can't fully, you know, commit. 
and it was really hard to get out of that because you know when you care about someone so much and you spend so much time with someone they're basically your best friend and that was unfortunate and I lost a friend and you know it, like I said it is what it is but I've learned from that so within that time in 2019 I was going through a hard breakup and I just resorted in a lot of other things that I probably shouldn't have but after that it was just a bit a bit different like I felt different I felt more me but also I kind of just decided to be like ah fuck it I'll go do this I'll go do that and you know got a bit crazy for a couple of months because I wasn't my pub was going for a refurb so I wasn't even in Northampton like doing what I would normally do so my routine was completely all over the place and I was just going to house parties get drunk all the time just not actually you know dealing with everything and I think that was also a part that I needed to deal with was you know just don't have to drink to you know get feel normal and that is a point that I've I've only just got to you know what I mean like I spent the last year of going out crazy party and just you know I just want to be around my friends but that involved drinking most of the time I know people are like you don't have to have to drink to have fun but I mean it helps so you know but I I generally have like grown a lot in this past five years and a lot has changed and obviously now I'm on tea which is crazy it only took me five years to get here still like that's a long time and that meant I had was socially transitioning for five years and not you know physically transitioning and it felt weird but it also gave me a lot of time to work on myself so I wouldn't take it back of waiting I wish it was quicker but it wasn't and you know you can't you can't change that but now I'm here and I'm at the right place to be on tea so Just to let you know, I have changed like the face department because my teeth are not the same from five years ago. I, fun story, I actually fell over in a club and chipped my two front teeth big time. Um, it wasn't me that fell over, someone basically, I felt like they, like one of my friends rugby tackled me to the ground whilst we were outside in like a smoking area. And it was a bar outside and there's like a level around the bar and he came and bear in mind he's quite a tall guy quite he had a lot of weight behind him and he apparently hugged me but it felt like a rugby tackle i was very drunk and i fell over and bam my teeth on the floor and i chipped my teeth so half of these are fake now so that's always fun yeah so i've changed there too so you know and i'm also super spotty because look at this, look at all the spots, puberty, huh? Second puberty, living the life. But yeah, I've changed a lot. Um, I do look back at my videos and think, wow, you can tell I was on antidepressants because I was buzzing all the time, which is kind of crazy. Um, you can see how calm I am now compared to before where I was like, bam, 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 you know, like crazy in your face, but that was because I was on like, high doses of antidepressants and I was just bloody crazy pretty much I'm, just, I'm not the same anymore because I'm not on antidepressants haven't been on for a long time because I just generally thought they would just mask in a lot of things and it's better to work through things I mean it helped some people and it didn't help me help me for the time that I've I was at my worst which is okay but I'm happy I'm not taking them anymore and this video is going to be a bitch to edit but yeah what's happened in the five years that I've been on YouTube but congrats to me for being five years on YouTube